Tom Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to look at what we're going to call the saucer bowl fountain. Now it's, it's a really unique contemporary style uh, fountain. It has these three shallow, kind of shallow bowls there with your copper spillways on it. it creates a sheeting effect as the water flows out of there. You see it flows out of two places up on the top bowl. Where this is actually where the water comes in. And then it flows, one flows down into that secondary bowl and then one flows directly into the bottom bowl and that secondary bowl flows into that one as well. So your return for your fountain is actually for your pump is back here so your water all is back there. Uh, probably the most unique thing about this particular fountain is it has a really neat lighting effect. Each bowl gets a light and it's really beautiful uh, at nighttime with those lights. Anytime you can put light in your bowl, uh, it's really neat. One of the things that we like about the bowl fountains when they have light in them, they're low enough that, that that light from the water is going to actually kind of shine out and kind of illuminate the area that's, that it's in. So it's, if it's put in near a patio or on a patio or deck or wherever you're putting it, you'll get a nice soft uh, lighting effect out from it. And plus that motion, since it's got light in it, it's going to draw your eye in. It's kind of like watching fire. Uh, and that light will, will pick up the motion of the water as it flows over. It's got a nice sound to it. It's not really, not real loud, but it is loud enough if you're out in a sitting area close in a sitting area. I don't think you want it a whole lot louder than that. You know, some of our fountains are really loud and it's okay if it's out in the garden, but we're sitting in, I think, in a sitting area, in an intimate area. You don't want it to be too loud. It can actually get too loud. Right now, I'll grab the camera and show you up close. I do want to point out, you have to get this level. Uh, you want your water flowing out of uh, each bowl about equally. So that means you're going to have to probably shim it, uh, get your level right. As we take a close up look at this, you can see you're getting most of your sound from this one. Not a lot of sound from that one. It's sheeting, not dropping as far. This one, is, uh, the sheeting effect of it, is, the water is still kind of together. When you come over here, you can see that flow of water starting to fall apart. When it starts falling apart, it creates more sound. So that's what you're getting on that one. And remember, your lights are going to be in each one of these bowls, so it's really a neat effect. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at southerngraceva.com.